Welcome back, Flare community. I hope you're all well and having an incredible day as always. Happy Thursday. Of course, this is a recording. Unfortunately, my internet's been playing up today, so I've pre-recorded it and uploaded it, so it's not necessarily a live stream, but you guys know the deal. We're going to be running through this week's events, all of the significant news happening on both the Songbird and the Flare network. So with that being said, let's jump straight in as we normally start here with the FTSO monitor tool. This is actually built by Flare Labs, if I'm not mistaken. And we're ordering by the reward rate descending of the last epoch, which actually just finished a couple of minutes ago. So topping the charts this week, we have Light FTSO. In second place, we have Solarius. Third place, we have a Flare Beacon. In fourth place, we have Flare Deinst. And in fifth place, we have EDP FTSO. Congratulations to you guys to making it into the top five this week. Moving on to Xhaven and the NFT side of things. Uh, we're scrolling down here. In fact, let's give it a quick refresh. And now uh, give it a second. Of course, we're looking at this week's best selling collections and topping the charts for this week is the Block Bones Traits collection. In second place, it's the Block Bones NFTs themselves. In third place, we've got S Toads with their DAP release just around the corner. Um, I'm actually going to be able to have a sneak peek of this next week, and I'm very excited for that. I'll keep you guys posted. In fourth place, we have the Focus Pass, and in fifth place, the Fat Cats. So congratulations to all the projects making it into the top five. If you didn't already know, one million wallets have been officially created on the Flare network, and almost 100 million transactions without a single moment of downtime since the Flare Network's mainnet launch back in July of 2022. Just a bit of a nice little uh, catchy headline there for you guys. Um, again, you know, without a hitch. So very promising indeed, but I think this is just a start. Moving on. Yes, staking rewards are out. If you didn't already know, they are two weeks apart. So I do like to give you guys a bit of a reminder uh, as and when they do become available. If you are staking, get your rewards right now. They're available. Um, this is a partnership here or, uh, well, Polyhedra. They say our fourth network expansion proposal is live. Uh, ZK Bridge NEP-4 decides the in integration of Flare networks. So there is a potential integration here um, with this network, which is, uh, yeah, obviously welcomed. The more people that integrate and uh, I guess the more interconnected the blockchain becomes. This is something about FIP09, uh, Flare Improvement Proposal 09, which is FLR protocol emissions. And I'm sure many of you have heard about this and it basically, uh, I guess, ignited FlareFi summer. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this because, you know, right now things are really good with all of these emissions. There's some really good opportunities within the space. And in fact, I'm actually going to be talking a lot about this with some exclusive videos in my Patreon group. Uh, there is a link below if you are interested in joining. Um, and I'm probably looking to get some of these first videos out, uh, talking a little bit more about strategies um, next week. But just to talk about this for a second, Flurefy Summer. Um, yeah, there's, I think, 150 million FLR, sorry, 510 million FLR that have been distributed for this um I guess promotion to try and bridge stable coins to the Flare network and get people participating in various DeFi applications. Now, Stargate has bridged over 2 million in stable coins. That's USDT and USDC alone. And uh, it's very promising. You know, the more total value locked on the network is uh, only a good thing. It attracts developers, it attracts users, and all that good stuff. But look, Here's something I wanted to talk to you about. A little bit of a curveball. Flurefy Summer is just a catchy hashtag that originated from a creative community member to represent the current explosion that we're seeing of DeFi here on the Flare network. But summer, summer is just one season. It's just three months. If you didn't already read the improvement proposal, FIP09, well, these rewards actually last for 12 months. So it's not Flurefy summer, it's Flurefy year, right? Six, or sorry, 12 months 
all increasing within their emissions to help bring more liquidity onto the network. If you think that this month has been very exciting with these emissions from the various projects, well, it's just going to get better and better. So opportunities are there to be had. Like I said, I will be talking about it in my Patreon group and um, yeah, enjoy this year because I think it's gonna be very exciting and rewarding uh, for those who participate. In fact, Flare Builders have uh, created a chart here for us to actually I guess, observe visually the state of the bridges here. So, of course, very flat, slight increase, let's say, but Flurfy Summer kicks off and things are just getting up and up. So, totaling today, or oh, this was actually yesterday, uh, 1.267 mil um, for USDC and uh, 936,000 for USDT. So, not, not bad numbers whatsoever, and I think that's only going to grow um, as we move forward. Blaze Swap, yes. Um, they're actually have incorporated something pretty interesting with the RFLR, that this is the rewards from the uh, emission protocol, that you're actually able to um, claim them, not just every 30 days, but a lot sooner. I'm not sure what the frequency of this is, but it's definitely been less than 30 days. I'm hoping that it's maybe every seven days, maybe. Who knows? Um, I'm sure they're going to be providing more clarity in the near future. If you are holding um, Kai, which is the staked version of the Jewel token, which is the native assets for the Kinetic Market platform. It's borrowing and lending on the Flare network. Uh, the tier for, sorry, the threshold for the Diamond tier has been lowered, and this allows you to get 75% off interest fees, instant drops, swaps between Jewel and Kai and there's no burn on instant claims, which means that essentially you can go from having Kai, which is the staked version, swapping that back into Jewel um, instantly. Whereas uh, previously there is, uh, if, you're, if you're not part of this diamond tier, which is quite a significant amount, $50,000 worth in Kai, um, you basically can do this without having to wait for 90 days, I believe is the cooldown period. Um, just a little thought. Are you guys pronouncing it Kai or Ki? I don't know. Um, whatever floats your boat, tomato, tomato, all that good stuff. Uh, keeping on topic with kinetic markets here, shout out to Scepter, Liquid Staking. We've got Steer Protocol and SparkDex AI. They're all part of a similar ecosystem, although they are independent. Um, they're all working together to help uh, kinetic market basically function as a borrowing and lending platform and able to liquidate people if uh, that actually is required. And that's something that I want to talk about actually because um, just a heads up, <laughs> borrowing assets is not risk free. If you're providing collateral and that collateral depreciates in value, you're going to have to add more collateral. So just bear that in mind because if the collateral falls below a certain threshold, you could get uh, liquidated, which means they take your collateral and um, you're sort of in a bad position. But you never know what's going to happen with crypto. Black Swan events, by their very different definition, are unknown and can happen at any time. So just be careful out there if you are taking loans out. Um, just something to note. This from Scepter here, um, they've actually added a chart here, which is very useful for those who maybe have a hard time understanding um, the value proposition with staked FLR. So it started at a one-to-one -one ratio. This is when you exchanged FLR for um, SFLR when the protocol first launched. And since then, there's been um, an increase of the value of their port. That's from the uh, staking rewards and also the flare drops. So you put in a one-for-one -one here and over time, their pot, let's say, increases through these rewards. And when you want to exit your SFLR, you can redeem it for the FLR. And obviously the price is increasing because one FLR that you had here has accrued many rewards as time goes by. Um, so that's liquid staking in a nutshell. And this chart is very good to, I guess, visualize the increase in value. And this will only ever increase. Um, so just take note of that. And it also means that when you are exchanging for FLR, 
the price is also increasing. You're not going, going to get this one-to-one -one ratio here. This is what you can see on uh, the axis here. So it's uh, it's you're going to be paying more for one SFLR. The values in terms of FLR um, is always going to increase. They actually reached quite a big milestone recently. Uh, 10 million staked. Uh, that's no... Uh, this is $10 million as well, not $10 million FLR. It's quite a significant amount, so congratulations to Scepter for uh, hitting that huge milestone. Sparkdex, they've broken down their reward structure a little bit more here. Um, this is obviously just the fees, but uh, yeah, interesting to know how much you're getting here. Um, and they're also participating in FIP09. They did have a little hiccup with the distribution. But if you was participating in Spark decks a couple of weeks ago, or maybe, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, um, you may have actually just received some FLR, not RFLR, because they had a little bit of a hiccup, and instead of distributing RFLR, um, they gave everyone that was due rewards um, the actual FLR. So uh, there was a problem, but they fixed it. All good. Um, Xhaven saying that they might be launching something soon that will supercharge NFT trading on Flare and Songbird. Stay tuned for some exciting incentives. Okay, I got my eyes peeled. Uh, I guess on a similar theme to NFT marketplaces, we've got Andres here who is talking about the True Gems platform. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, we can have a quick peek. This is I guess it's launched just now. Um, this is their website, dev.truegems.io. Of course, they've got this uh, cascading uh, carousel, whatever you want to call it. I think you call it a carousel. Um, as I like this one as well, the animated one. Um, a lot of the pictures, for me at least, are um, not here. But again, this is just sort of uh, in the very initial phase. So... Uh, just take it with a grain of salt. I'm sure they're going to resync and get all of these image images up to date in the very near future, but it looks nice. I mean, um, I've had a little look around. We can uh, maybe go to one of the collections here and have a little poke around. Um, here we go, look. Uh, just a little thing, you know, hovering over this and a slight zoom just feels nice. I don't know. Um, so we do have a competitor for Xhaven or, yeah, Xhaven formerly Sparkles. Um, Blockbones, the recent announcement is that the mouth fusion has gone live. So these are all the mouths here. Um, lots to get hold of. Um, if you're holding a trait crate, you can open them and fuse them to your Blockbones NFT. That functionality is live. This is the fourth of five trait categories. And once all five traits are uh, fused, then we're gonna be looking at rarity based rewards. Uh, very exciting things to come for Blockbones. And of course, one of the things which just keeps growing is the amount of bones that have been burnt via the crematorium. So 1,200 of these NFTs, that represents 12% of the entire collection to have been burnt. And of course, as less exist, it means that the rewards can be higher for everyone else. So an interesting mechanic there. If you do burn one of these NFTs via the Blockbones website, you can actually get some free trade crates and also uh, some bonus BNZ. Uh, this is something that I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about. So uh, we've seen an explosion of growth on the Flare network, which inherently makes it more attractive to builders and investors. The metrics of more activity, whether that's wallets created or transactions or something completely different, can actually act as a marketing tool and brings huge exposure exposure to Fleur. Actually, I like that word, exposure. Um, anyways, so by participating with any decentralized application, whether that's DeFi or NFTs, you're inherently providing the value or providing value to the Flare network itself by helping it expand and grow. These metrics, when people use the network, it really gets the word out there. You get headlines from various news sources and say, look, a huge milestone has just been reached. And um, yeah, that's only good for us. The more people that know about the Flare network, the better. If you are interested in uh, attending any of the events that Flare have to offer, you can find them all here. Um, they do actually have a calendar on their website, but these are the main ones that are coming up 
uh, throughout the, I guess, the last quarter of the year. Um, Korea, Thailand, Singapore, again in Thailand. So um, if you are wanting to catch up with the team, then uh, be sure to visit them there. Again, one last thing as I do wrap up here. If you are interested in joining the Patreon, there is a link below. Um, we're going to be having a lot of content with this um, tier here, the Legend tier. And of course, you get entered into the, <laughs> the monthly Flare Community Wheel of Appreciation, which gives away unrevealed Block Bones NFTs and many other things such as trait crates. And uh, yeah, also... Uh, it's a it's a good crack you know we do the uh monthly live streams as well um sorry the live chats over on discord so be sure to check it out if you haven't already with that said guys i would like to thank you all so much for watching take advantage of flarefy summer because there are some great opportunities there to be had again i'll be talking about them but you can please enjoy yourself please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already have a great weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Mission control, we have liftoff.